Hey everyone, welcome to Brick Vault. My name's Jack. Today we are taking a closer look at the everything you need to know about LEGO DK Books book. It's uh, from DK Books. They actually sent a copy over to us for free, which was really nice of you guys. Thanks a lot. And uh, I think I'm going to be taking this in the Lightroom, showing off some of the sort of cool pictures and things that are on the inside, as well as focusing on some of the subsections that personally I find the most interesting. Um, all right, let's take it in the Lightroom. Well, now that we're looking at the front a little bit closer, I do like the uh, classic space figure floating upside down, or him being upside down definitely gives sort of the effect that he might be floating in zero gravity. A lot of the print here is also a little bit sort of three-dimensional. There's some dimension to it. Even the studs as the background have uh, little bumps there. And even when you look at the back, you can already see some interesting factoids. I like the one at the top, but let's open this thing up and take a quick look through. Now, there's a few little pictures here and there, but the table of contents is really what you're going to need especially for a book like this which is almost sort of random lego trivia so let's see what are the things i want to learn more about let's check off the lego color chart How about lego star wars worlds definitely set sail a history of the future hmm character building and fantastic ideas so starting off with colors we've got uh, let's see some information lego started with six classic colors in the beginning and i can tell you right now a lot of the names for the lego colors official are very different from that uh what we get at bricklink which is kind of confusing but of course very expected and here's the thing i wanted to learn we don't have an exact number but over 150 shades have been made 150 shades or different colors have been made for Lego since the 1950s. Most of them now are retired, but that is pretty nuts when you think about it. Now this is just one of many different pages that has to do with Lego Star Wars. I do like the formatting here with the yellow text coming out like the intro slide. And there's a couple of little factoids here that I think are kind of interesting. I didn't know the original X-Wing fighter set had a Yoda's hut with a hidden lightsaber for the Jedi Master. But the really big bit of trivia here is that the there are over 475 Lego Star Wars sets. It is currently the longest running license uh, that Lego has. And the 20th anniversary of Star Wars in Lego is coming up in 2019. So who knows? Maybe we're going to get a big set. Now let's move on down the list. Uh, set sail was the next thing I wanted to learn about. So this is uh, Lego pirate ships. I've always liked Lego pirate ships. And let's see the largest part count for any Lego pirate ship was Metalbeard's Sea Cow. That was from the Lego movie. And here's an awesome fact oh my gosh wow this is is this the one i have wow that pirate ship that's been sitting in the background of all of our live streams and is pretty much one of the only original lego sets that my brothers and i have managed to hang on to from when we were kids is actually the very first lego pirate ship ever made i had no idea released back in 1989 set number 6285 this is definitely our ship it's not in the best condition but holy guacamole i really didn't know that it was actually the first one that lego made that is awesome it's still a great set really it is that is actually really cool i didn't think i I was going to be learning about that but let's move on to the other sections that i wanted to check out a history of the future this is of course lego's interpretation of what the crazy uh sci-fi advanced futuristic worlds are going to be at least portrayed in their sets and this is just a basic age progression throughout the decades so of course we've got classic space all the way on the left and some of my personal favorite which is space police in the 2000s now let's jump up to character building i believe this is all about brick built figs in fact and there's a lot of stuff about Mixels and Bionicle and stuff, but some of my favorite factoids from these pages are that there's more brick-built versions of Santa Claus, more than any other character, which is kind of no surprise, and that there was an old set of Lego brick-built characters that were just three different kinds of clowns. I believe the first one of these brick-built figs was made back in 1963. Let's jump up to the last section. This is fantastic ideas. Emphasis on the fan. This is, of course, a bit of history on the Lego ideas theme, where you guys, the creators, submit your own ideas to Lego to turn into sets and I already knew and I think a lot of people know that the original name of ideas was Kuso but I was unaware until right now and that is a, a Japanese word meaning imagination or also wish and this is a uh, came from a Japanese website back in 2008 now I believe there's a Lego ideas announcement video that contradicts this fact but it does say Dan Siskin Daniel Siskin from Brick Mania was the first fan to have his set 
set turned into an official Lego set, which is the Blacksmith Shop 3739, which is pretty awesome. I had no idea that that was the case. And it seems for Lego ideas, there is a rule that no new parts are gonna be developed for the creation of any Lego ideas set. Anyways, those are just some factoids. I just wanted to go through a few of the things uh, that I was sort of curious about. But remember, this is just me looking at six different pages out of a book of 238. So there's a lot more stuff to learn. And I'm still just kind of blown away that uh, my favorite old pirate ship set was actually the very first one. All right, that is it for this episode, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, thanks again, DK, for sending this book over to us. Oh, this book over to us. And uh, if you guys enjoy our content, you can always like or subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Yeah.